welcome to analysis of chemistry question paper uh, test series 2024 so paper is available on our youtube channel that is savarkar ias study circle you can check it out on youtube uh, so where we will get the question paper uh, my advice is that if you have solved already then listen this video otherwise first solve this paper yourself and then uh, try to listen this video it is more helpful in that condition so let us start the questions i am reading out question first and then i am analyzing so uh, first question how many statements are true lanthanum is a d block element sodium is a p block element hydrogen is a non metal placed in first group and first row of the modern periodic table all elements in the first row are monovalent now lanthanum is d block element answer is true no doubt uh, lanthanide elements begin from lanthanum but in case of lanthanum the last electron according to aufbau principle enters in f shell but because of that uh, energy level of f shell rises as a result uh, rises than d and therefore electron enters in d shell and therefore lanthanum is a d block element sodium is a p block element this statement is false because we are aware the last shell configuration of sodium is 3s1 so there is no question of p because electron enters in that shell that is the uh, block so here uh, sodium is s block element so statement is here uh, p block is mentioned so this is false statement hydrogen is non metal true placed in first group true first row that is also true in modern periodic table and therefore uh, third statement is true now fourth all elements in first row are monovalent now check out first row of periodic table only hydrogen and helium two elements are there out of that hydrogen is monovalent anyway but helium is perfect inert and therefore the statement is false so in short two statements are true and two are false therefore i have to go by answer b that is two statements are true second question that is arrange arrange with increasing size of atoms uh, now you check the question you will find lithium sodium potassium rubidium so all these elements belong to first group so first group means vertically we have to go so elements are hydrogen lithium sodium potassium rubidium cesium and francium so sequentially here lithium sodium potassium rubidium are given so this sequence is correct sequence so nothing to check about b c and d because the elements are only interchange so right sequence is a only so answer is a now which pair is incorrectly match okay here we have to find out incorrect pair uh let us check bauxite and aluminium yeah bauxite is ore of aluminium so correct magnetite and magnesium no no name indicate magnetite but it is ore predominantly for iron and uh, then bauxite uh, sorry then aluminium is also extracted from that but no magnesium and so this is incorrectly match but let us check galena galena is ore of lead perfectly match hematite ore of iron perfectly match so answer here is b fourth question how many statements are true color of pure cuso4 is colorless blue vitriol is fso4 uh, feso4.7 h2 philosopher's wool is zno wood metal contains sodium as a main constituent so uh, let us check one by one uh, again check how many statements are true so uh, let us check color of pure cuso4 this is tricky question we say because uh, there is uh, those who are working in chemistry laboratory at least 11 12 you have worked they are aware that cuso4 means blue color but keep in mind it is cuso4.5h2 
what you are observing copper sulfate that is cuso4 dot 5h2o whereas uh, cuso4 only form then it is having no color it's white or rather i have to say it is colorless and so uh, the first statement is true the moment water is there color changes blue vitriol this is the name of copper sulfate dot 5h2o so obviously statement is wrong blue vitriol is feso4 dot 7h2o so false statement uh, feso4 dot 7h2o is real compound it is called as green vitriol uh, it is having pale green color crystals of pale green color now uh, philosophers who is z and o true uh, why this type of names are given i don't know but it is said that in old days that uh, people they were called as alchemist uh, particularly egyptian people so they were burning out zinc in air and then uh, white dust was falling from that that is called as philosopher's wool so like that some ex, uh, name is uh, having origin so third statement is true wood metal contains sodium as main constituent no wood metal no name is also strange wood metal but that wood is a english surname some scientist surname is there it is not wood connected with what we are thinking furniture wood so uh, wood metal because he discovered that metal that's why it is called as wood metal is having maximum uh, constituent 50% bismuth is present but sodium is not at all present and so uh, fourth statement is again false so only two statements are two true or false uh, two are false so uh, answer again goes b which is the most abundant element in earth crust i am revising which is the most abundant element in earth crust silicon aluminium magnesium and oxygen you are aware first layer of earth crust is called as cl that is containing silicon and aluminium and second layer is cyma that is containing silicon and magnesium by looking at this data uh, we have tendency to give answer as si but what is ultimately uh, silicon and aluminium so it is in form of sio2 al2o3 that is cl again cyma sio2 and mgo so like that we are having presence of magnesium silicon aluminium but they are in form of oxides and so the most abundant element in earth crust that is oxygen which statement is true regarding ivc uh, now ivc that is indus valley civilization that is there in history but uh, here we have uh, or rather prehistoric part of history but uh, here we are considering this in chemistry because you are aware that ivc indus valley civilization was ended somewhere 5000 years ago in baluchistan and maharashtra they were continued till 4500 years all right so whatever the things that are there prior to 4500 years we have to consider and uh, you must have little bit knowledge about uh, this ivc so first thing dan single idol uh, was having component element copper now you are aware dan single idol that was found in mohenjo-daro that is made up of bronze and bronze is alloy of copper and tin therefore it is containing copper yeah so first statement is true uh, obviously uh, which statement is true like that questions are there question is there then obvious first statement is true second let us check traces of promethium found in the seals of ivc now uh, i have not analyzed the seal of ivc not even seen practically only photographs but yet you are aware promethium is not found naturally it is lanthanide element but it is radioactive and therefore it is not found in nature we have to prepare it synthetically and obvious thing is that at time of mohenjo-daro harappa uh, this type of nuclear chemistry was not developed and therefore the seals 
should not have because promethium was not existing element at that time and therefore we have to say second statement is false third statement we are uh, they were alloying copper sn means tin copper tin you are aware copper and tin we are getting bronze uh, and pu pu stands for plutonium uh, to obtain good quality of bronze so copper and tin is there but plutonium is radioactive element it is synthetic element it is also called as trans uranide element so uh, atomic number 92 that is uranium is naturally occurring last element it is bombarded with neutron to form next element that is called as neptunium it is bombarded uh, sorry it is also beta emitter so it emits beta particle and converted into plutonium that's why they are called as synthetic element they are called as trans uranide element or trans uranic element like that uh, things are there and therefore uh, obvious thing is again that nuclear science was not developed at that level at that time and so they were not aware what is plutonium okay so c statement is also wrong and d ivc people were aware of uh, use of elemental white phosphorus so obviously phosphorus was not present at their time no doubt no. compound phosphorus was there so uh, because atp adp you are aware of this mechanism in biology that is adenosine diphosphate adenosine triphosphate biological compounds are there but uh, elemental phosphorus was not isolated at that time and therefore this statement is also false so obviously uh, we have given answer first time only that is a seven statement which statement or statements is r2 so first corundum is a compound of aluminum yeah it's al2o3 that is aluminum oxide or simply we are calling as alumina uh, along with that if it is in extreme pure form and uh, some compounds like vanadium or chromium they are there then we are getting gems so uh that is also called as corundum so first statement is true second statement carborundum is silicon carbide yeah it is a trend name or say a patented name of silicon carbide so you are aware that uh, in case of diamond carbon is having tetrahedral structure in case of silicon crystalline uh tetrahedral structure is there so they are fusing out carbon with silicon and this type of compound is formed it is having very good hardness and that is used for particularly for cutting purposes digging breaking cutting like that purposes so that is called as carborundum so second statement is also true third statement some reaction is given and uh, in this reaction the product obtained other than carbon dioxide now only two products are there one is carbon dioxide so water is remaining that is called as water glass answer true this is water glass only the thing is that uh, this glass is water soluble so it is not used for uh, any containing something but usually coatings are given of water glass or uh, many time this is used as good source of sodium in reaction whenever sodium is required so this is also uh, right last ruby contains al aluminum yeah in first part only we discussed that is carborundum ruby is also form of carborundum so it is made up of al2o3 and then this statement is also true so here answer is d all four statements are true arrange according to the increasing number of carbon atoms uh, you can check out compounds only four compounds are there and uh, we have crossed uh, here and there so cng lpg petrol and diesel so you are aware cng the major constituent is methane and formula of methane is ch4 one carbon lpg mixture of butane and isobutane so c4 and c5 mixture so uh, after one uh, four and five carbon yeah then petrol mixture of c6 to c8 alkane that is hexane to octane mixture is there then that is called as petrol 
so after five number comes as six seven eight so sequentially arranged and diesel C12 onwards so as this indicate that first line is only true that CNG LPG petrol and diesel so answer is A so if A is correct then no need to check all these things hydrogen bonding ninth question hydrogen bonding is possible only when any one of the following element is present as electronegative part so which is that electronegative element that must be present then only hydrogen bonding is possible so option a uh, nitrogen oxygen and fluorine and this is only true option the thing is that uh, for uh, hydrogen bonding there must be very high charge density what is density mass upon volume what is charge density that is uh, charge upon volume so you are aware that uh, all this sodium uh, sorry uh, nitrogen oxygen and uh, fluorine these three elements are there in the second period you are aware as we move down the group atomic size increases as a result charge density will decrease so highest charge density among the group that is there in case of here negative charge that is so uh, nitrogen oxygen and fluorine so any one of these highest charge density elements are present then only hydrogen bonding is possible uh, what is hydrogen bonding check out our chemical bonding uh, uh, lecture uh, because it's very long process to explain and so you can go through our hydrogen bonding that is chemical bonding lecture on youtube uh, so here answer is a so no need to check other elements but let us check chlorine bromine iodine so they are having minus one charge but volume is bigger than fluorine and so that charge density is not able to form hydrogen bonding to that extent okay so i'm not checking out other now last which one of the following statement is true again only one statement is true sodium acetate is a sasb type salt sasb means strong acid strong base or now nomenclature is something reverse strong base strong acid all right so sodium acetate now here if you check sodium acetate is salt made up of weak acid that is acetic acid well, you may check out formula here this is the formula of acetic acid ch3cooh whereas uh, sodium hydroxide is a strong base on combination of that we are getting this type of salt so first statement is false it is strong base weak acid salt or in this format weak acid strong base salt second hydrolysis of sasb type salt is always produces strong base so strong acid strong base salt uh, for example nacl that is common salt never undergoes hydrolysis because strong acid is produced neutralized immediately by strong base and so these type of salts are never undergoing hydrolysis so there is no question of statement b now let us check c mixture of sodium acetate and acetic acid is an example of buffer solution this statement is true when we are producing out this type of buffers at that time we have to take a weak acid and its salt with strong base so this is a true statement what is buffer solution buffer solution is solution whose ph remains constant after addition of small amount of acid or base so this is true last example of zwitter ion is sodium acetate no zwitter ions means actually you are aware iron possesses only one charge either negative or positive but in organic chemistry sorry i have to separate in organic chemistry in case of organic chemistry certain very long molecules are there and they possess one end as positive and one end as negative such ions are called as zwitter ions so uh, for that purpose chain must be very long and sodium acetate when dissolved in water it ionizes and dissociates as na plus and acetate minus and therefore there is no question of zwitter ion here so answer c is a perfect answer here thanks for observing this